welcome back to my channel and thank you for logging in for those who don't know me my name is Smita I'm a flight attendant been one for almost 15 years eight years in India with Air India and seven years here in Etihad well this video is an extension of the previous video which I made about um, the grooming and the preparation and what is expected, how you should present yourself for an interview and what are the preparations you need to do. This is part two where I would like to show you what you could possibly wear for a cabin crew interview. This is one of the shirts you can definitely wear, that's why I wore it today and the do's and the don'ts, uh, rather what you can wear and what you shouldn't wear in just a moment. Alright, so I prefer wearing formal skirts for an airline interview as it looks more feminine and elegant. But you may also wear trousers if you wish. Regardless what you choose, formal shouldn't be too tight or too loose and it must be well fitted for your body type. Next up is the type of bag you may carry. Your bag should be formal looking and not blingy or flashy. Preferably with conservative colors which match your outfit. And if you're ever confused, just wear black. Also bear in mind, try to match the color of your shoes with your bag. Like brown bag and brown shoes or black bag and black shoes or nude color shoes can go with pastel or light colors and neutral blacks. Next up, I will show you how to carry your CV in your hand along with carrying your bag just before you will enter the cabin for your personal interview round as you will need it handy to give it to the panel. You can carry your CV in the same hand like this or you can carry it like this on the other hand whichever you feel comfortable when you get in the room. Personally, I like to carry my bag like this and hold the folder like this because it's the most comfortable position. Walk into the room confidently and with a pleasant smile. Make eye contact with the interview panel with a smile and definitely greet them with a good morning, good afternoon. Hand them your CV, sit when they offer you to, but also say thank you in return. Place your bag next to you on the floor Sit on the seat with your back upright and your hands in front of you on your knees like this. Do not entangle your fingers like this and definitely do not cross your legs while you're sitting. Do not cross them like this as well. Definitely don't have your legs apart. Sit with your legs together and your hands on your knees or like this. This posture is more professional. Right from the time you step into the interview venue till the time you exit the interview venue, you must keep in mind to have this pleasant and warm smile on your face as you start observing you from the time you step into the venue. At the same time, bear in mind to not laugh loud, talk loud or smile when it's not necessary. Also match your smile with a friendly and kind look in your eyes. So about the outfits, you could wear a shirt like this or with a skirt like this, all black. Just make sure it's not very snug and tight and it's comfortable and you can breathe in and the skirt is also fitted but it shouldn't be very very tight. Uh, you can tell those signs from here if it's just too tight like this, it's not appropriate. You might even rip it off when you're sitting down, getting up, getting up the stairs. So always try to be comfortable at the same time choose the right clothes which fits you right and always make sure that it's crease free. Even though, like I said, I'm not a big fan of wearing all black, but if you have to wear black because it's your favorite color and if you want to wear a jacket, um, you can wear something lighter inside and you still have this nice long v-neck and you have a nice tailor-made jacket for yourself which shows that it's still formal and fitted and looks good on you and very professional. You could wear a blouse like this, uh, make sure that you put the buttons on the cuff if your neck is broader, it's okay. Just make sure it's not too deep. Uh, it shouldn't show your cleavage. Also try to avoid wearing any ornaments around your neck. None of the airlines uh, allow it. And it's, uh, it's better to keep it clutter free and you don't show too much of bling and complicated designs on your neck. It just takes away from your face as well. If you also like to wear a scarf, because my uniform does have a scarf, you can wear a scarf. But if you have a shorter neck and if you have a fuller face, it's best to avoid wearing scarves because it just makes you look more chubbier. But that's again your preference and the kind of style that you're choosing. When you're tucking in your blouse, uh, when you wear your stockings, your pantyhose or your tights, whatever you like to call it, make sure that you put your blouse inside, inside of that and then you tuck that inside your skirt. So it gives you a more secure outfit because if you try to bend, put your bag down on the floor, if you try to sit down or when you get up again, it's just gonna 
everything is gonna pop out. So I would also say wear a high waist skirt. It's much better if you wear a high waist skirt. It secures the blouse inside perfectly fine. Or you could wear something like this. It's a beautiful white shirt and a nice scarf or bow. I just have these two huge laces and I made it into a bow. You can also wear a scarf with something uh, of a high neck like this because it looks more appropriate. And you can also see why it is important to wear the right color undergarments because it might show through your outfit and it's just appropriate to wear right color undergarments and also a spaghetti or a tank top as you would call it inside it's called a camisole or whatever you like to call it it's just this thin strap and a white color or a beige color depending on your skin type and the outfit you're wearing so yes um, these all the clothes are from my training days and these are classic shirts which you can use during your training you can i still until today i wear these uh, blouses and shirts for when i have to go for my um office or training or headquarters for any purpose where i have to wear formal clothes these are evergreen and classic so yes you can buy them or if you have a scarf and if you have a high neck shirt like this you can just tie a nice scarf in a bow on the sideways which looks very professional again keep the colors to pastels and something more um, pleasing to the eyes and not very uh, bright and shiny and sparkly try avoid doing those things this is another outfit and you can see I look like a lawyer over here but the whole purpose I have all black and white was because in Etihad during training they told us that your training uniform would be black and white but you don't necessarily for your interview have to wear something like this you could wear a nice white shirt uh, well you can see some creases on mine but make sure that there are no creases on yours when you go for your interview of course your hair should be neatly tied up in a nice ponytail or a nice bun or a French knot uh, you can wear a white shirt with a beige skirt or a sky blue uh, skirt or any of the pastel colors or you can have a pastel shirt color shirt and wear with a white skirt or a beige skirt or a baby pink skirt or I don't know there, there are so many pastel colors bottom line is pick very eye pleasing and appropriate colors that's it or you could wear something with a print like this because it's very formal, it's a geometrical print and it's still nicely fitted yet not very loose and it goes well with a black skirt. Again, this was a part of my uniform and I personally like it. So this is the kind of camisole or inner I was talking about. It should be with this thin scrap, white or beige in color. So it goes mostly with all the pastels and white colors. And if you want to wear a black sweater, you can just pop it on this. Just like that. You can even tuck it inside or leave it outside. It still looks very professional. And last but not the least, a classic white shirt on your black skirt or even a beige or whatever skirt you want to wear. This can never go out of fashion as black and white can never go out of fashion. So guys, those were my outfits for cabin crew interview. Though these were specifically for my training because we were giving dress code and also a color requirement. We were only supposed to wear black and white. So don't misunderstand that it's supposed to be black and white for an interview. It can be any beautiful, pleasing pastel colors you can choose. I try to show you the style of what kind of outfits you need to wear, what should be the length, what should be the fitting like, how it should fit on your body, how you should tuck it in, the kind of shoes you can wear. And um, yes, the hairstyle, of course, this is not what you should wear for an interview. I made another vlog, which I said over, that I'm going to link it down in the description. You can go and have a look at the makeup and the hairstyle you should be wearing for your cabin crew interview. So if you found anything useful in today's vlog, please do not forget to leave a comment for me. It does help me to improve myself and it does motivate me to do better. So until next time, take care.